Hello, welcome to the Football Terrace Live. What's your name? Hello, it's Daryl from Middlesbrough. Hello, Daryl. What do you want to say, mate? Um, on the game, I felt um, I felt United deserved the win. Um, could have been better for them. I felt uh, the, the main issue, I think, was the United aren't clinical enough at times. Uh, the, the amount of shots that United had um, that were wasted was unbelievable. Um, I felt the youngsters actually did did, uh, did the fans proud. I felt they actually had a good game. Um, but I think what was missing was that there should have been a lot more goals than that. Yeah, yeah, there should have been. You're not going to hear me um, disagree with that because you're right. There should have been more goals. No doubt about it whatsoever. And I'm frustrated. And if you heard the top of the video, I've gone in on Rashford. Rashford is the reason tonight. And I put some I put some stuff up here. And you can see this from sort of tweets from Man United fans and rivals that like talking about um, Marcus Rashford tonight. You know, his lack of form is troubling. The, the, the squad is um, a bleak and joke. Should be 4-0 four up, four up by now is what Michael said. RVP20 says it's just not good enough. We give him too much responsibility that he can't handle. He doesn't have the skill set to become an elite player. Uh, Liverpool fan here saying no, any non-league striker over Rashford. Of course, that's a little bit flippant and, and, and over the top. We all know this. However, um, Marcus Rashford is the biggest problem. I think it's somewhere in the region of five big chances missed in six games now this season across the Premier League and Europa League. And there comes a point where a couple of bad games is turning into a poor run. What do you do? do, you do and this, let me ask you this question. If you're in charge of Man United, we're going away to West Ham, where we're going to have to be clinical. If Martial is fit, with Greenwood scoring tonight, with Dan James in good form, do you drop Marcus Rashford? That's the big question. Do you drop Marcus Rashford for the next Premier League game? What do you do, Daryl? Uh, I mean, he's not the greatest of season so far so you know I'd maybe give him a bit a little bit of a break you know I'd say probably drop him yes um, give him some time to actually improve on his shooting and training ground and I agree with you we have to be clinical on Sunday because you know West Ham's a tough place to go um, if I was going to go risky yeah I'd start Greenwood because um, I felt he was the star man today and I think he has what it takes um, but yeah I would definitely drop Rashford and play Greenwood yeah, I, I, I agree, I would. For me right now, uh, Daryl, I really appreciate your call, mate. Thank you. We're putting that out there to everybody else. If you want to come on the show, the number is 01883717743. Should Marcus Rashford be dropped for the next Man United game? That is the talking point now moving forward. For me, it's a big fat yes. He can't keep missing these chances. He can't keep being given opportunities. Get Martial fit. Back in at number nine position. Greenwood out on the right-hand side. Dan James on the left. Rashford is going to have to move onto the bench because he is costing Man United at the moment. He really, really is. We've got another call coming through here. Hello, welcome to the Football Terrace Live. What's your name? Hello, my name's Indiana. I'm a United supporter. Indiana, how you doing, mate? I'm all right. I'm a, a bit frustrated, actually, about, about tonight. I'm a bit sort of... <sighs> they could have been playing my under-12 side, really, couldn't they? It, I, I don't. I don't really know what all the fuss is about in terms of um, Greenwood and, and and all these things. Yes, he's a finisher and he's the best finisher we got. Uh, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say he's not. But we need another striker. We, we need a striker. Badly need a striker. Yeah, I I, 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 I agree with you. We do. I think Martial can be the man, but it's the the problem is if Martial's missing, as we've seen now, would you drop? Rashford for the forthcoming game against West Ham. Uh, is Martial fit? Yeah, let's just play hypothetical. Martial's fit, Greenwood's fit, J Dan James is fit. Is there a place in your side for Rashford at the moment with the form he's in? Uh, yes and no. I drop him on the basis that I think strikers need to be kept hungry. And I think if you're just if if they're going to play every single week, they're, they're not kept hungry. You need to you need to be able you need to turn around to a striker and say if you don't perform you're not playing. So when they come on they perform. Yeah, no, I I, I totally the agree with. Up front for us. I, I agree, I agree, and I think look, Oli doesn't have to make decisions to appease this fan base. However, 
it would demonstrate his ruthlessness again in the right way. Rashford, who is someone that he rates, we, and we know that before he was manager with some of his social media posts, but he's out of form. And, you know, Matic isn't getting in the first team because of his end of season form and people are outperforming him. So the same should apply to Rashford. Now, of course, if come the weekend, Dan James and Martial have both still got knocks, of course Rashford's going to play because, the, you know, we can't be throwing those youngs in. He is still better than Chongi and Gomez, as an example, in forward positions. But, for, but right now, five big opportunities missed in six games and the two tonight, with all due respect, I th I'm an average football player on a Sunday league field and I would have been confident of putting one of them in. They were really poor misses. And if it wasn't for 17-year-old Greenwood, we'd have drawn against a team I've never heard of from Kazakhstan. And we'd, be, we'd go from... I'm frustrated at some aspects of tonight, but we'd be feeling really embarrassed right now. We'd be three points down in the Europa League already. And I never put a result solely down to one person, but a big, a big shed of the responsibility would have been at Rashford's feet. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think I don't think you can blame him. I, I came on the show before and I said we don't have a natural finisher. I said that. I got loads of stick for it, but he's not a natural finisher. I get that, but, but, he's not the, clinical... but the chances he missed tonight, you don't need to be a natural finisher. And by the way, barring someone like Phil Jones, if those opportunities would have fallen to any other technically gifted player on the pitch, so whether it be Fred, whether it had been Chongy, whether it had been Greenwood, Martial, if he was fit, Pogba. I'd be saying the same thing. They're not fin for me. They're they're sitters. They're absolute sitters. Don't don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. They, they get paid enough money to stick the ball in the back of the net, don't they? But I I just feel that Gre Greenwood is a better finisher. He is a natural finisher, and that is a thing. A natural finisher. Rashford, you don't want him in the box. You want him running at defences, tiring them out, turning them inside out. That's that's what he's about. You don't, you don't want you don't want him in the in the six yard box waiting for the ball. It is interesting, really, that the best performance from him this season has been when Marseille was playing through the middle. In fact, you know, he, he's, he was very good in the first half against Wolverhampton Wanderers as well. So there is there is an element of that where when he was playing out wide, we saw a better Marcus Rashford. Yeah, but that's his game. That, that's 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 what he does. It, it's it's. I find it I find it strange for him to play up top. I know he wants to, he'd like to, because I, I think he thinks he's going to get more goals. But I don't think he will. I think he's going to get on the ball a lot more. He's going to turn defences inside out. He gives us more. You see, tonight they, he made one run where he, he chased down their centre midfielder and then chased down their right winger and won the ball. Mm. He, he's he's got so much. To, I wouldn't I'm, I wouldn't drop him for any other reason than to keep him hungry. I wouldn't drop him, but I play I play him in a better position. And we talk with. There's a lot of talk about there's not enough creativity in the centre of the park. You can have all the creativity in the world, but if, you, if you're not intelligent enough or creative enough up top, you're not going to make the runs. You're not going to drop in. And they're not going to play those balls. Mm. It, it, works, it works both ways. People talk a lot about how Berbatov was lazy. He wasn't lazy. He just picked his runs. If, if it wasn't on, he just used to stand there. How many goals did that guy score? Mm. He used to come from, turn up from nowhere and just be in the right position, put the ball in the back of the net. And that is an, is an intelligence when you play up front. It is not, you can't just run around all the time. Forget about the presses, like high presses and stuff. That's different. I'm talking about making those intelligent runs, those, that little step to your left or step to the right, you put the ball in the back of the net. But that's not Rashford's game. Fair enough, mate. It's, 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 and do you know what I like about what you're doing there? Is you... You're criticising without being over the top, without actually disrespecting Rashford. You're basically saying, you know, this is it's like playing a centre back at right back. They're, they're never going to do as great a job as a natural right back. And and I understand yeah. uh, where you're coming from on that. And it's an interesting one because what's frustrating me? I'll tell you what does frustrate me with this Rashford situation more than him missing chances. There's a very good chance that Greenwood could go on to be a better striker and finisher than Rashford. Some think yeah. he already is. But I don't see why Man United fans use that as a tool to beat Rashford over the head with. It surely should just be an additional positive. <laughs> I, I, I'm st I literally find it, I've, I find it staggering that there's so many out there who want to just um, like use it as a, a stick to hate. beat him with. A lot of hate. There is. It's a hell of a amount of hate. And he's, he's one of your... Too much PS4, too much PlayStation. <laughs> not right it in their brains, mate. It really is. Look, I appreciate your call, Indiana. Thank you very much, mate. All right, thank you. Cheers, thank you. Bye-bye.
So I want to know what you think. Should Marcus Rashford be dropped from the Man United squad? We want your comments. Do me a big, big favor as ever and hit that like button. Um, and please hit the share button as well. It's the very best way that you can support us here on the channel. Whatever platform you're watching these videos on. Um, it'd be amazing if you could do that. It really, really would. <laughs> A comment here says, Tammy Abraham with one leg is better than Rashford. Fair play. You're all entitled to your opinions. Whether I agree with them or not uh, is always a different matter.